Oh, for sale now, Vehicle Max, we have a 2008 Volvo S80 3.2. It has a charcoal gray on the outside with black leather interior. It has a factory moonroof and, um, and a number of other options that I'll show you in just a minute. Four wheel disc brakes. Tires are not new, but as you can see, they still got plenty of tread left on them. Cars, no damage, no dents anywhere, no hail damage, no love bugs, no uh, bird droppings anywhere on the top surface of the paint. No, uh, no, no scratches, no major touch-ups of any kind. Has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now at our website at vehiclemax.net. By the way, if you're watching this video in Auto Trader, it will cut off at three minutes. If you want to see the full 10-minute video or more, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 9 to 5, and we're always closed on um, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We have an A plus rating with a with a Better Business Bureau. You can check that out for yourself at bbb.com. All right, let's go ahead and get it started. That's this uh, type of uh, intelligent key that you got to push into the car, and it's a push button start. The door panels are charcoal gray with uh, nice wood trimming over here. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel, power mirror, power seats. I believe it's on both sides, but we'll check that when we get to the other side. With uh, memory for up to three drivers. Leather interior. There are no burn holes or cuts or tears anywhere on the leather, headliner, door panels, or uh, carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like this vehicle belonged to a non-smoker. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sit, sit down inside and uh, get it started. <coughs> All right, car has only 38,465 miles. Close the door here. Okay, you stick the key in here, step on the brake, push button start, you don't even have to hold it, and the car starts right up. Okay, let's get the AC going. AC's going right now. Give it a second to cool off. AC compressor's not okay. Um, automatic transmission, of course. Got the same wood trimming as in the doors right here, around the shifter, and also up here on the uh, on the dashboard. Okay, and also around the uh, mirror vent over here. All right, let's go ahead and operate the moonroof. It is a one touch, as you can see. I'm not holding the switch. I'm gonna go ahead and close it now. Same thing, one touch to close. It is a glass moon roof, it is tinted, but if you want to block out the sun completely, you can just slide this cover forward. We're gonna leave it open now so we can get um so we can get a little lighting in here. We've got our curtain side airbags here on the front post as well as on the rear post back there. I'll show you that when I get back there, it's a little hard to see from here. Okay, um dual climate control, you can make one side uh cooler or warmer than the other ones. You can see right now they're both are low, but I'm going to raise the driver, so say to uh, like 65, uh, 66 right there. And that way you can have two different levels of comfort, okay? Putting it back down now because it's quite hot. All right, let's get the stereo going. Get okay, the high performance sound, okay? You can control the volume of the radio right here too. And you can seek uh, you can seek your stations over here. Okay, let's go ahead and lower that. Uh, let's see here. Menu. FM audio settings. FM settings. Radio text. Okay. Here's where you control your bass or you're in your treble. Fade. Balance. Okay. Turn it off right now for now. Okay. It has a, di a six disc uh, CD changer, and it has also an auxiliary uh, audio import for your uh, iPod. And to be honest with you, I've got to find it. I'm not quite sure where it's at. Uh, we got cup holders, coin tray, uh, power outlet here. Like you can see, this guy wasn't even definitely an ounce smoker. Never even used a lighter. Okay. Um, uh, this also just closes it down here. How you do this? Just slide it forward here. Okay. Right here's your audio input. This is where you plug in the, you plug in the, that cable, and then you plug in the other end of the cable to the back of your iPod, and you play um, 
You can play it right on the um, <coughs> on the car stereo speakers. Okay, let's move on over here. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the right hand side dials and tachometer. And the reason I'm doing that is so you can see the car is running and there's no check engine light on, no airbag lights, no anti lock brakes, no maintenance soon, nothing like that. The car is in perfect shape. It also shows the time right there at the top there, 6 p.m., the temperature outside, 91 degrees. And there's your gas gauge over there. Okay, your fog light switch over here, powered trunk. We'll open that in just a few minutes. Let's go ahead and do the windows now. They're one touch, you don't have to hold the switch. Same thing on the passenger side, one touch. As you can see, I'm not holding the switch there. Right, even the rear ones as well. Okay, come back here. All right. Also has a compass right in the rear view mirror. Let's you know that we're pointing in the east direction. Vanity mirrors that are lit. Underneath the visor here, you get your uh, home link. This is to program your garage door or your uh, gate at your complex or at your house. All right. Let's go ahead and open the door panel over here. We'll pop the trunk. And this is a lockable gas lid as well. Okay, so you can lock your gas lid right there. This where you turn on your fog lights. Okay. Um, here's your cruise control right here. Let's go ahead and turn off the car. To turn off the car, you just press the button. Push the key in and the key slides out. All right. Pop the hood while we're at it. Okay. All right, this is a five passenger, two in the front and three in the back. And they all have an over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses this one right here. If you do not have a middle row passenger, you can open this up here. And, uh, whoops, it's got a, this little mat that goes in here. And you can have this as an armrest and also a cup holder. All right. Oh, here's the other airbag I was telling you about. But it's a little hard to see from back here. Okay. <coughs> Rear door panels also have the wood trimming and also the black. It is equipped with a child lock protection. All you've got to do, stick a screwdriver or your key in here, twist this to the side, and that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got kids and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Here's your uh, door vent sticker here on the middle row post. You got AC vents right here on both sides, of course. It looks like the previous owner of this car didn't have any kids because this area back here looks like nobody's ever really even sat back here. I'm sure somebody sat back here, but what I mean is that not on a regular basis, okay? Uh, these headers actually fold down. All you got to do is, um, I'm going to show you over here because I don't know if the key has to be inside the car, but I don't think so. We'll give it a try. Where is that button over here? I just did it a second ago. Oh, here it is. Here's the switch right here. I'm going to go ahead and pop them. Uh, the car has to be on. Let's do that, do that demo for you really quick. Oops, wrong key. Excuse me a second. There we go. Okay. So here's how it goes. Stick the key in here. Step on the brake. Press the button. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, press that little button there and they flop forward. Pretty cool. Let's see if you can have a better vision if you don't have rear, uh, rear seat passengers. Turn it off by just pressing there. Push the key in. Key slides out. Remove key. Panel with the dashboard now so you can see there's no damage or cracks or cuts or anywhere on the uh, dashboard. Okay. Again, if you have any questions, my name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. Take a peek inside the trunk. All right. Uh, plenty of space back here in the trunk, actually. Very spacious trunk. You can put a few, at least two or three bodies back there. Of course, I'm just kidding. Uh, S80, 3.2 liter. No damage anywhere in the vehicle, okay? No major touch-ups, no major scratches of any kind. No hail damage or dents anywhere. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Oh, I already did that, I forgot, okay. Let's come around to the other side now and let's take a peek from the other angle at the seating and we'll conclude this video. Also, let me stop at the tail lights real quick so you can see that there's no cracks or cut or scuffs or uh, any fogginess is nice and clean. All the chrome emblems are in, per in perfect shape. They're not damaged or cut or, cut or cracked anywhere. Okay. All right. Okay, let's come back here. 
to the right rear. Again, door panels are all in perfect shape. Give you an angle look from back here. Cigarette lighter. Well, it's no cigarette lighter, it's actually a power outlet. This guy definitely was a non smoker. Got uh, anchors on both sides here, two on each side. That's for your baby seat in case you do have a baby seat. To put these forward, all you gotta do is just flip it back here and they stay up. All right, of course, you got child lock on both sides. Come over here. Right front, door, or right front door door panel. And I was wrong, it is dual power seat. So we got power seats on both sides and power recliner. This is for the seat to slide back and forth and I think up and down too, yes. And you can slide it up and down. And this is for the recliner. All right, um, the front seats, and I didn't show you that on the driver's side, but they do. Uh, the, the front seats have uh, also airbags, okay? So we got a total of six side airbags. Um, two curtain side airbags plus a seat airbag per side. That makes a total of six plus the two front airbags, a total of eight airbags. Okay, check out the glove box here. The owner's manual is in here. Everything you need. Close this back up here. Pan over the passenger front seat. Interior is immaculate, no tears, no cuts, no burn holes, no discoloration. I already showed you the dashboard. Go ahead and pan over the truck, then the hood, and we'll conclude this video. These lights that you're seeing here, they're a reflection of the lights in the roof of the warehouse, and there's some also on the sides here. Okay, so I'm just showing you so you can see there's no dents or scratches or cuts or anything like that. Rear window defroster, you see the little lines there. Okay, come around this side here so you can see there's no dents anywhere or scratches. Again, if, I, if you have any questions, my name is George. You can reach me at 305-218-5462. Headlights are nice and clean also. They're not foggy or cracked or anything like that. But front bumper has no love bug damage or, or rock chips or anything like that. The grills are in perfect shape, not cracked or damaged or faded or the chrome uh, peeling. Pop the hood over here for a second. All right. 3.2 liter by Volvo. All your stickers, bin stickers on the fender, hood bin sticker back here, also over here. Uh, nice and clean, perfect shape. Engine compartment is in very good shape, no damage anywhere. All right, again, if you have any questions, my name is George, 305-218-5462. The website is vehiclemax.net. Again, located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142. Open Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 9 to 5, and always closed on Sundays. Remember, we've been in the car business for, since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars and have an A-plus rating with a Better Business Bureau. Check it out for yourself at BBB.com. Thank you for watching our video.